This video is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. Um, so today I wanted to show you guys those Japanese candy toys I was telling you about, the Shodo figures. I have seen it written as S-H-O-D-O, Shodo. I've also seen it written C-H-O-D-O, Chodo. And I've seen it written out as S-O-D-O. But um, when I talk to my friends that live in Japan, they pronounce it Shodo. So, you know, whatever. However it's pronounced, um, they are awesome little toys. Um, they are about three and three-fourth inches tall, same as old school Star Wars figures. And they come in a little box with a, a little piece of candy and a um, action figure. Actually, this is this is how they come. Okay, so you... You open up the box and, you know, you'll have like a little piece of like uh, Pez candy, basically. And then you get a baggie. And um, here's all the different hands Ultraman comes with. He's got fists. He's got um, chopping hands. And he's got um, like splayed open hands. And he comes with a, this little like base. This little round piece wraps around his ankle and helps him stand. The figures don't really need a base though. As you can see, they, they stand up just fine without the base, but it is nice to have it um, just to make sure they're really standing up there sturdy. Um, so what you do is you take the hands that you aren't using at the time and they plug into the little base, into those little holes. Um, let's see, I have one right here. So it looks like that. Isn't that cool? So like all his little spare parts are just right there. And that fits around his ankle, helping him stand up. So that's a, a cool little design. Um, there's the, the body and there's the head. And you just um, snap it together. And yeah, then, you're, then you have this nice little action figure. Um, this Ultraman comes with his Spacium Ray and that laser buzz saw. So you can, you can put these hands on him also. Um, this one is my favorite of the Ultraman Shoto toys. Um, he comes with a, um, little replica of the, um, Science Patrol headquarters. Look at that. It's got um it's got the jet VTOL, the vertical takeoff and landing jet. Um It's got a little uh spot there for a um, flight stand that that you can plug it on so it looks like it's flying around the base. Um it's got little cars, little cars. Um, little radar dishes. Uh, I mean, this is like, this is like a candy toy. And it's, it's really nice quality stuff. The action figures are really nice. Um, like I said, they are three and three fourth inches tall. Same as old school Star Wars figures. They're ball jointed. Um, they've got a pretty wide range of motion. A lot of articulation on them and they look really nice so this is Ultraman type C um, I have an Ultraman type A also that I'll show you guys in, a, in just a little bit but let's see. really nice little figures I mean, it's not something that you would think it just comes like, you know, 
in a small box with a piece of candy. Like it, it's like a real life, you know, an action figure, action figure. Okay, so that, that one's my favorite Ultraman Shoto toy. Here's another Ultraman. I believe he's the exact same figure as that one, except this one I have the fists and these ones, this one I have the splayed open hands. You see the, you can pose them in all kinds of really cool poses and they don't need the little bases to stand up. Um, here he is with Zeton. That's the nasty bastard that actually kills Ultraman in the final episode. Spoiler, but you know, the show came out in 1966. So if you, <laughs> if you didn't know by now, well, now you know. But Zeton, he's a super cool looking bad guy. And he's got these translucent orange parts that just look really nice when they capture the light. Um, also in this same set, so I believe uh, this set you got um, the base. Um, I think you got like three of the, of Ultraman. Um, you got this Zeton. You got two of the Ultraman from that new, from that anime, where it's kind of like Iron Man. It's a, the kid wears a robotic suit. Instead of being, um, an alien life form, he, uh, it's kind of like Iron Man. He wears a robotic ultra suit, but it's a cool design. Kind of steampunk Ultraman kind of looks like. I think he is Shin Hayata's son in the cartoon. It's been a while since I watched it, but I think he was Hayata's son that wears that suit. And then because I am bad with, um, the newer Ultramans. Um, I'm not sure if that's Ultraman Taiga or Ultraman Dinah. It's it's one of the newer shows. I I'm pretty old school when it comes to Ultraman stuff. I like Ultra Q, Ultraman, and Ultra Seven. And then after that, I just kind of pick and choose with what I think is cool looking. Um. So yeah, all these like multicolored Ultraman that that have um you know they can power up and they they look a little different each Ultraman has like five different looks so you you have to buy five different action figures it's a it's just a marketing gimmick but I, I'm not really big into those modern Ultraman I'm old school when it comes to Ultraman <laughs> And that's why I dug the Shin Ultraman movie so much because it was very much like old school Ultraman. Okay, moving on. There is King Joe. He is an evil space robot that fights Ultra 7. That's my second favorite Ultraman. Ultra 7 is just kick-ass. Um, so whereas Ultraman is more of like a, a red red, Ultra 7's red is more of like a orangey sort of fire engine red. But um, see how his little base clips onto his ankle, helps him stand up. And let's see. Over here on his base, he's actually, actually one of his hands is holding the eye slugger that he can, you know, that he throws like a boomerang and slices kaiju in half with. 
And then he's got his beam, his beam uh, fingers, his hands, to, when he shoots that laser from his forehead. Um, this is a nice figure. And that eye slugger is removable from his head. You can take it out. Okay. Here is another Zeton. This one, if you notice, it does not have the translucent parts. It's... It's more of just a base, basic Zeton. Another Ultraman. Let's um, see the difference. So the Zeton on the right has the translucent parts in the face and the chest. And looks like some more little paint detail on his antennas. But it's probably the same sculpt though. And that Ultraman. No, they are different. The Ultraman on the right has a blue translucent um, color timer, color changer. And this one just has a little painted blue color changer. Uh, see the rabbit hole that it creates? I think I bought th this Ultraman first. And then when I saw these ones with the pretty blue uh, color timer, I was like, ooh. Oh, yeah. And also the eyes. This one just has, like, painted yellow eyes. This one has special translucent eyes. So, of course, I had to buy it again. And uh, does one of the little bases with uh, with um, the Ultraman's hands in it. Okay, now this Ultraman, see how the little base plugs onto his foot, helps him stand? This one is Ultraman Type A. And you can tell because of the, the primitive look on, of the mask. When the show was originally created, they were going to have Ultraman talk. And so they had the mask rubbery so that the mouth could move. But then they abandoned that idea. I'm glad to. I, I don't know how I would feel about a talking Ultraman. I mean, it's neat when he, he talks like a big booming voice, but like telepathy or something. You don't need to see his mouth move. But anyway, see how the face is sort of primitive and it's chubbier. Anyway, that's Ultraman type A. And then everybody's favorite Ultraman bad guy is the Baltans. <laughs> that laugh of theirs is awesome. <laughs> um, they use that same laugh in Matango, you know, Attack of the Mushroom People. That's the Baltans laugh. Uh... Yeah, that's me trying to replicate that effect that they had on the TV show when you see the Baltans walking and there's like, you know, there's like 
a hundred of them walking in a line and they all phase in, phase into each other. So cool. And then to wrap it up with the little Ultraman, Red King. Everybody's favorite pinheaded kaiju. So yeah, that is a look at my Shoto Ultraman toys. Um, hope you guys liked taking a look at them. And yeah, did I show you? How, yeah, I showed you. This is how they come in their little packages. That's an Ultraman. That's an Ultraman. That's an Ultraman Type A with the chubby cheeks. Um, but yeah, I was not kidding when I said um, I've got way more um, Common Rider Shotos. Uh, there's, there's Shadow Moon. Um, Common Riders, some bad guys. There's the organic, cool looking, um, that one was a bitch to get. It's the organic, cool looking Shin Kamen Rider, but now that they've got a new movie coming out called Shin Kamen Rider, maybe they'll call this guy something different. And, uh. Yeah, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. But, um, there's lots of Ziploc bags full of them. Common Riders and Shocker, shock, Shocker Troops. It's a whole bunch. Um, but I will show those off in a Common Rider Shoto toy episode. I just wanted you guys to get your feet wet and just um, to see what these things looked like that I kept talking about. So thanks for stopping back by, guys. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see the Common Rider ones. Okay, take it easy. Bye.